Thanks for coming back and joining me here on Growing Food Talk. I'm here with my lovely guest, Janae and Zoe, and we've had some good conversation. Yeah. Um, I, I see my younger self in you, not quite as beautiful as you are not at sure the time. Sure oh, too. well. <laughs> Thank you, ladies. But, but this, is, this is good. I mean, we talked about how both of you, ironically, had like distant, distant relationships with your fathers at one point. Mm -hmm. You, for quite a while, for the majority of your growing up, and, and, and no connection until in your 20s or yeah. at 20 yeah. and you Zoe fell out when you were about to go to college Correct. you said yeah. and so you, you fell out with your dad and, and no communication and you noticed then that that's when you felt like poor choices were being made yeah that stupid kicked in stupid kicked in right I think definitely you know if you can't if you don't have the love from your father, then, yeah. you know, where else are you going to search from it in a man? Do you, you hear know? that, fathers? <laughs> Do you hear that? If you don't have the love from your father, you will search for it in the first idiot. You didn't say that, right? No, but, but I agree. it's true. The first idiot <laughs> who comes along and tells your little girl that's she's beautiful. Exactly. She doesn't have to say it all. Exactly. Then they, that's who they're looking for. Just be a daddy. Yeah. I Go agree. Ahead, you know, and for me, my turning point, well, me and my dad uh, were great now, oh, actually. Good. Oh, um, I'm glad you hear that. And my dad took very ill probably two years ago, mm -hmm. and it wasn't looking too good for him. And I got a phone call. When While I you out, were not speaking. While we weren't speaking. And I hadn't spoken in I years. I hadn't spoken. I had walked across my dad one day when I was pregnant with my son, like we didn't even know each other. Oh, you know, it got and that bad. It got that bad. And I think that for me... I was like, oh, it don't affect me. It's fine. Oh, but then now that I think about how it must have felt for him, mm -hmm. you know, like yeah. my daughter, her, her first child, my right. grandson, I can't even be there. Right. I like how I want. So um, he, he took very ill and I was at work and I remember contemplating like, should I go? Should I not go? And my lovely boss, he, he came into my office and he said, you should go because you just never knew. That's right. And you want... You want to have that closure, rather this opens up a new door, rather it doesn't. And I remember walking into the room, and he was hooked up to all the monitors, and the machines were going mm. off, and it was just me, him, and I. And I well, walked you went in. Alone. I I thought out it was going to be other people there, right. but when I walked in, it was just me and him. And that I just not, remember, I just remember accident. like grabbing his hand. And he looked at me and he was like, hey, baby, I'm glad you're here. Oh, my. And to be honest, we haven't even talked about our problems, but I don't even feel like we need to. Mm -mm. It was just like the perfect moment for us to right. kind of just move it's on. Over. It's, it's over. It's done. Yeah, and I just don't want that to be anyone else's point of where you want to make things work, you know? Or where they get to the room and it's too late. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And I contemplated going. Because that was your father. Because that is your father. You know, but now that I think about it. I wouldn't have had it any other way. I, I just, I next time I want to be there for the whole journey. You know, I'm not for when it's bad. I want to know his good side right. as well. Okay. So we are at a great point in life and it's baby steps, but. Right. That's right. What there. So you never had a conversation with Daddy, I know we didn't no. speak and all of that. You no. just picked up. Picked up. It was because for me, it was like. Five months. He, like, right. so death do us part. I don't wow. I don't want to see that. Like, you know. Yeah. So then did you find that your whole, your way of operating after that, did that change as far that, as relationships? And, that, and that's what's so crazy is that was when I left a very, I wouldn't, I would say abusive relationship because it wasn't mentally stimulating me. Right. It okay. wasn't doing anything good for me. Uh -huh. You know, it, it just. Mentally stimulating. It wasn't, like it wasn't that. mentally stimulating right. at all. And, um. Danae and I were best friends, and she knows my journey as well as I knew hers. Right. And it's just, it wasn't really great for okay. me. But me and the, my son's father were actually best friends. Okay. And we figured out, and that comes with maturity as well. You figure out you don't, you have, don't have to, to be, be in together. a relationship That's right. to raise an amazing kid. We're and like sometimes a, you shouldn't be. We're the new normal family. That's what we oh, call ourselves. You know, like okay. we, we both were new normal. Right. You know, we're best friends. We raise a beautiful son. He knows us to be friends, and that's, that's it. That's good. But that's that good. was my father being sick was the turning point of me being like, Zoe, you're really wasting your life right wow. now. You know, like wow. you're really, you're really wasting your life. You just saw your dad in a very Almost compromising position. Right. And this is what you're accepting for yourself. And so that meant also accepting a whole lot of other better yeah. for yeah. you. Definitely. And so turning point as far as, okay, it's time to grow up really. Yeah. yeah. Right. And then Danae, you said to the, the simultaneous, um, relationship improvement with you and your dad or connection even mm -hmm. as well as uh getting into a healthy relationship yes. so so was and there having, a day that you said all right 
it's time to do better. What, 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 what did that look like? It's a healthy relationship. It's not a perfect relationship. Oh, no. And, <laughs> and, and, and neither is mine. Mine isn't either. And I've been married 20 years. So um, I understand. I don't know. I just, I don't know what it was. But, and, and I think the person that I'm with as well nurtured the relationship. And it wasn't just the oh, friendship. Nurtured okay. the friendship. Okay. And I was out of, like, I was used to getting in relationships and... Like, oh, no, we're in a relationship now. Like, this is what it is. Oh, okay. And he was like, no, like, we're friends. Mm -hmm, Let's, mm -hmm. you know. Be friends. Be friends. Let's build something. And that actually gave me time to be like, well, is this what I want? Or, mm -hmm. like, I was able to put a, not a list, but what did we say? Are the, um. <laughs> me? Yeah, <laughs> I was able your, to put what a, your your expectations. The, yes, a list right. of expectations yes. of what I want, what mm -hmm. I was willing. Deal breakers. Deal breakers. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yes, I remember. I was able mm -hmm. to put to, that together and actually stick to it and be like, okay, he's checking off these right. things. Mm -hmm. He's right. not checking off some things, and we actually had a point where we decided, hey, we should, probably should just be friends for the time being. Really? Yeah. You had the whole let's just be friends conversation. Yeah, it's not working out. And so because of a person who came from, as you said, you know, your self-esteem issues and your, your, your daddy issues, what did that do to you when some, he said, or you said, whoever made the decision, let's just be friends, were you better with that than you would have been in nah. the past? <laughs> <laughs> it broke me. Did it really? Yeah, but it, 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 it was a, a really low time okay. for me. Mm -hmm. But at that point, I, like I said, I was building my relationship with my dad and right. I was able to... to listen to my friends and my family say, hey, like, you got so much going for you. Yes. It's okay that it didn't work out. Yes. And then I was able to build myself up. And then when he came back in my life, I was in a place where I was, I don't really need you. I want right. to be with you now. Yes. I don't need there to be with you. I'm cool. Yeah. No, I love that. So, so you had the opportunity to work on Danae. And mm -hmm. work on myself. Yeah. You said... I want you. I don't need you. I don't but need I you. Want to be with you. But I, <laughs> she I, I said, want to be. I don't to need you, on. boo. Okay? <laughs> because, and that's it. It's okay for us to say, um, let's get everything straight. Yes. I, I, I love you. I appreciate you. I'm glad you're here. Yes. But if this is not for you or if it's not for me, it's okay yes. for somebody to go. Yes. And when, I, when, we, when it didn't work out at one point, mm -hmm. um, I, I took that time to go get therapy and to talk to someone and. Yourself. Fix Good myself, and, and that's why I kind of realized that you got things going on, right? That you need a heal, right? Okay, yeah, all right. So, before we talk to you, but don't, don't lose your thought, okay, we're going to <laughs> go to commercial, don't lose it. So, because this is good stuff, and you don't know who's listening. Or who's watching, yeah. right? Some young ladies who might be saying, oh, that's how I get rid of stupid. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, and stupid may not be a person. It could be a behavior, yes. right? So let's take a break and come back and join us on Grown Folk Talk. I'm here with Danae and Zoe, learning what smart women know. Grown Folk Talk will be back after these messages.